Hey, buddy. Hey, good morning. You're in Kyoto, Japan. Good morning. Good morning from Kyoto, Japan. So, the other day we took a bullet train from Tokyo down to Kyoto. It was really cool. Hey Manila, we're going on a choo-choo train. Hey Dorothy, you and mom have the same shoes. trains have gotten faster because what was supposed to be a three-hour train ride it was like two hours and ten minutes and Jessica <laughs> looks out the window and is like that building says Kyoto where are we and I go to the first <laughs> Japanese fellow and he just looks at me like I'm crazy and speaking English you are correct sir <laughs> and the second person is like yeah this is Kyoto and I'm like go 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 like two seconds but the later. stops are like 45 seconds yeah. so there was no way we were gonna get all of our luggage off But we finally got to Kyoto, and this is a cute little city. They keep it super clean, like the rest of Japan, and everybody's on bikes, which I love. We arrived at the Ritz-Carlton Kyoto. This place is very nice. Are great with the kids and that's why we're absolutely loving it. We're gonna list off the many ways that the Ritz Carlton has been absolutely just amazing for our children. Number one, the check-in. The check-in was incredible. As soon as we got there they took little Polaroid snapshots of Dorothy and Manila, gave them little badges, little backpacks, these like lion backpacks, and these cutie little like safari hats. Reason number two, the ice cream bracelet. I was super bummed when we didn't get ice cream bracelets. It's not one size fits all. It's one size fits Ritz kids only. So. Ritz kids only. But this is how it works is you wear your little ice cream bracelet and whenever you would like, you can go to the ice cream counter, get a free ice cream. And it's like bomb ice cream. Mm -hmm. So reason number three is in the room, there were toys. We don't, we don't get a lot of toys these days. We pack super minimalistic and so toys just don't make the cut. They come here and they have just a room full of fun little toys and a bathtub. And bathtub full of toys. Yeah. It was really a treat. So stuff like that, like, I mean, it goes a long way with us. Reason number four, the activities. They had a scavenger hunt prepared and, oh man, if you know anything about Dorothy, you know she was just in heaven. Hey guys, where are we going? Scavenger hunt. There it is. There's one. And this see one, one more? likes to be around each other. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one too, sweetie. Hey, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my. Show me your new toys. What'd you get? By the end, Dorothy's like twirling in the hallways and like broken on the ground. Like she was so happy. <laughs> Reason number five are the little gifts that they would just bring throughout the day. We'd get this little knock on the door, open the door and see someone standing there with like a treat or a little gift Chocolate or just pops. some sort of pleasant surprise. And I would, my eyes would light up and they'd be like, uh, are Dorothy and Manila here? We have something for them. Oh, and the last reason. Bonus reason. Is they've had the sweetest staff ever. I love 
that. Mm -hmm. Look at all these cards. <laughs> what? That they have made for Dorothy. Just, and for Manila. Like the cutest little things ever. We've done some really, really cool things here. Our first day, we decided to get some bikes. Mm -hmm. Because everybody's riding bikes. Some Japanese bikes. Dorothy, let me see your peace sign. Dad, let me see yours. Another day, we went to the bamboo forest. Bamboo forest was rad, but both of our kids were on one. Happens, sometimes you travel all around the world to the amazing bamboo forest and your kids just aren't having it. So what you hope would be a full day of adventure turns out just being a half hour of, let's see this beautiful place and then get our kids some food and get them out of there. Happens. What language were the people speaking today? Um, Japanese. Uh huh. Do you speak Japanese? No. What people. language do you speak? People. Dorothy, that's not a language. Yeah, I don't <laughs> speak language. Okay. You speak English. I don't speak. English. You don't speak English? What do you speak? People. <laughs> no? Dorothy, we speak English, but guess what? I also I speak Russian, and Mommy speaks Russian. <laughs> yeah. Manila speaks baby. Mommy speaks Spanish. Mommy speaks Spanish. And you speak English. Can you say English? English? Yeah. And some people here speak Japanese, and some people here speak English. There's all sorts of different languages. Do you want to learn a different language? Mm -hmm. Do you want to learn Japanese, or Spanish, or French? What do you want to learn? Japanese. You want to learn Japanese? Mm-hmm. All right. Mom, what's a Japanese word she can learn? Konnichiwa. Dorothy, look it. Can you say konnichiwa? Konnichiwa. Yeah. Say it one more time. Say, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. That means hello. Okay? So I'm going to say hello to you, and then you say konnichiwa to me. Okay? Okay. Hello. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Good job. See, you're speaking Japanese. <laughs> the kids have been fantastic at trying new foods. Mm, and so good at it. eating new foods with chopsticks. Cutest oh thing ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> No, too. You see him just kind of like yeah, he'll just like stab a things. pancake until it gets on his chopstick. Good job. Wait for me. Good job. Japanese chicken nuggets. Oh.
A good one. Don't get a bad one. Nice grab, babe. Nice grab. What is it? It's happening so fast. Get some chopsticks and get on it. Chopstick is nose. New one, come here. Oh, see you guys, yeah. <laughs> Manila, where are you? Manila. There he is. <laughs> oh, Manila, where are you? There he is. I see you. Come on, buddy. <laughs> ah, So a really cool place that we saw was the Fushimianari Shrine. Kyoto. And Japan. We love you, Japan. Yeah. If you're from here, you should be very proud. If anyone is considering Japan for their bucket list or for their next vacation, highly recommend it because it's easy, it's convenient, Super it's safe, safe clean. it's clean. Yeah. And it's just beautiful here. So. Super different cultural experience. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, Kyoto. Thank you, Japan. Thank you, Ritz Carlton. Get excited for this flip around mm. because I'm going to flip you around and then I'm going to open up the morning curtains and reveal oh, the yeah, this is cool. best part of our day. All right, see you later. Oh, hey, good morning, buddy. Hey.